guys, welcome back to the channel. So my youngster and I here are taking a nice Wednesday drive up the highway through hell to go and look at a couple of vehicles. Seeing as it's my birthday, we decided to treat myself to another vehicle. So we're going to uh, head up to a place called Campbell River. It's about a nine hour drive from where we are. The plan is to, we, we have three cars to look at, but I think the one we're gonna end up with is the one in Campbell River. The plan is to get down to the coast, get ourselves a U-Haul car trailer, and then whatever car we get, do a one-way trailer rental back to our hometown. So hopefully everything goes well, and we'll touch base with you shortly, and we'll let you know what it is. Okay, so we're five hours into our journey. My son has been demoted to the back seat for saying bad words. No. Just kidding. We picked up a hitchhiker. <laughs> we stopped and picked up my brother. And uh, now we're waiting in the lineup to get onto the ferry to cross over the ocean. So, yeah. They're both a little scared. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shy, are you shaking? No. You shaking in your boots? No. It's a good thing you're not wearing any boots. Because you would be. <laughs> okay, we'll, uh, we'll touch base when we're boarding the ferry here. And we'll give you some cool shots. All right, so we boarded our ferry. Now we are heading that away. It's about a two hour ride to the other side. So we're gonna come out and I believe to the right. I don't know, it's been a long time. It's been 12 years since I've done this. So uh, I can be wrong, we'll see. But uh, yeah, let me uh, get a few shots here for you. This is our view. It's probably so windy, the noise, but it's well worth it. And it's cold, it's, it's minus two right now. Oh okay, yeah, respect to all the fishermen out there because we can't even walk to the front of the boat. We were just trying to walk up there, but there's so much dang wind, it's literally pushing us backwards. And my brother lost his glasses in the ocean. So, <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, here we go, the three of us are gonna attempt it again. Oh my god, it's so windy. I gotta put this away, it's gonna blow away. Oh my gosh, we're not even halfway there yet. Holy, that wind is like crazy. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna blow the phone right out of my hand. Oh, I gotta put this away. Oh god, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Well, we made it to the front, but you literally can't breathe. There's so much dang wind up there. Jesse's crying. I'm crying. Zion's <laughs> crying. Oh, God, this is good. <laughs> okay, let's get. Oh, man, that was good. Okay. Uh, it's so windy, it's just blowing me around. <laughs> Look at how far away we are. <laughs> yeah, through the portholes. All right, so we made it back to the ferry. We bought the car. We had to drive it 200 kilometers in the dark with no heat because we couldn't get a car trailer when we couldn't get a car trailer where we anticipated on getting one. So he shotgunned with me for a little while. Then he chickened out because it was too cold. Cool. <laughs> no, I, I made him get in the truck with my brother because it was it was way too cold. We literally made it back to the ferry with less than one minute to spare. They were getting ready to shut the gate. So that was pretty sketchy, but uh, nonetheless, we made it. So this is what we bought. This is what we got. So, um, as you've seen, we were on the ferry coming across. We ended up having to drive it uh, almost 400 kilometers home because we couldn't get our hands on a trailer. So, first thing this morning, we grabbed the U-Haul trailer. Now we're ready to head another 400 kilometers home. So, stay tuned for that bit. 1989, five liter GT. Uh, we are the third owner of this one. 
Uh, it's a little rough. It's a little rough compared to what our last one was, but um, it's got great bones. You see, we got a bit of denting here. We've got the typical fox cracking on the C pillar, but uh, overall, she's great. It's got a um, full stainless exhaust system, uh, Mac Performance headers. It's been converted to an electric fan, it's full MSD ignition, uh, built transmission M shifter. I believe he said Eibach lowering springs, so it's lowered quite a bit. 373 gears. What? Scrapes every bump. Yeah, scrapes every bump. So, yeah, we uh, snagged it for a good price, so we had to do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well. We are day four into this new car adventure. As you can see, our trailer is empty because last night we hit some serious fog, snow, and ice, and I didn't feel like filming because, well, it was terrifying. But uh, let me flip your... So this is what we rented. We rented a U-Haul trailer to uh, get the vehicle back up to our house. What I did is I reserved one on Vancouver Island, and when we got there, I was informed that we actually couldn't have that trailer because they didn't allow one way. So we had to drive the car 300 kilometers. It was 300 and 333 kilometers, I think, is what it equaled out to be. All because U-Haul wouldn't honor the reservation that I had made online with my credit card. So we ended up, like I said, we ended up driving it back to my parents' house. And then I had to go drive an hour out of the way to pick up the U-Haul trailer. Drive the car and trailer four and a half hours home. Now I have to bring this trailer back four and a half hours back the other way. So we're on our way back to Vancouver now. So it's been quite the ordeal. U-Haul, you disappointed me. You should be called useless, not U-Haul. But um, yeah, let's get back on the road. Well, that didn't take long for my asshole neighbors to strike. The one tire missing a valve cap mysteriously seems to be flat. Rather interesting, I'd say. Let's go get some air in this turd. All right, so here we go. We are officially home in the car. As you've seen, we're taking it for a little bit of a shakedown run. You can hear there's some rattling. There's a fire truck in front of me at my kid's school. That's concerning. But um, we're heading that way anyways. Yeah, she feels pretty good. I mean, it's substantially lower than my last car, which is nice because it gives it a whole different ride characteristic which is cool and then on top of that having the 373s is super nice so i'm i'm pretty stoked with this one i um so oh i gotta pull over nope fire truck's going the other way we're good but um yeah where was i oh i was saying so yeah it um uh -oh. we're good uh what was I saying? Yeah, so I was I was gonna build the red one up, but the more I got thinking about it, I thought to myself, I really didn't like the red interior, and I didn't want to go, you know, stripping that out to put in like a black or a gray interior, and just I didn't want to decrease the value of the car. Not that I really think it would have, but it was a numbers matching, VIN matching car. I kind of wanted to keep it that way, so I opted to to sell that one and see if I could find a, a better suited one, which clearly I did. And I really wanted the GT ever since back in the day when I had my previous LX, my brother had a GT and man, I really wanted a GT with the power windows, power locks, and just the, the overall aesthetics of it. I love the LX, they're super clean, but, I, whoa, gosh darn it. GoPro down. GoPro fell off the windshield, so I had to stop and fix it, and I don't remember what I was saying, but I know I was blabbing on something about the uh, LX. I love the clean lines of the LX, but I always wanted a GT. That's what my brother had when I was younger, and I, I absolutely loved that car. Just the aesthetics of the body kit. I just, I love that. So I always wanted a GT, and then after the red one sold, I seen this one pop up. Yes, it was quite far away from home, but it was way worth the drive. It's already got the 373s. It's already got a lot of things done to it that I was gonna do to the red one anyways. So, I mean, it just works out. Yeah, I gotta do some body work on this one. The red one needed some body work as well. Not as much as this one. This one needs quite a bit, but oh well. 
we'll drive it the way it is until we get a good deal on a paint job. So I'm going to quit blabbing. Let's uh, keep driving. We'll get some outside shots here in a minute. All right, so now we can do an official walk around of this beast. Now that we've got some decent daylight and I'm not strapped for time. So as you can see, the body is not perfect. In fact, it is far from perfect. It's probably, I don't know, man, maybe a six out of 10, maybe a seven. It looks good from a distance, but as you get up close, you can see some of the ugliness. The hatch is flat black. The hood is flat black. Not crazy about that, but we're gonna paint it anyways. Gotta do the bumper cover. And yeah, the infamous Fox body cracking, which happened before they put the uh, subframe connectors on there. Torque boxes are all nice and tight, so we're good there. But um, yeah, that is our beast. So pretty stoked, pretty happy. Interior is pretty ragged on. Somebody decided they were gonna chop the armrests apart which is super weird like they legitimately cut it like who does that and then they poked a hole through the door panel for a a manual window roll up i don't know they did some hokey stuff here we got an electric fan which I apparently left running and a fog light switch instead of just replacing the factory fog light switch that's hokey dokey but uh overall it's in good shape we just got to undo a few things that these guys did that is a um, fast food stain of some sort he said i forget what he said oh don't air some sort of don't air his wife leaked on the seat whatever <laughs> let's hope that's what it is <laughs> yeah as you can see there's some ugliness in the paint here we got to do all this but overall i'm pretty stoked i always wanted a gt like i said I had the LX and I loved the LX and I thought it would be more nostalgic for me having a very similar car to what I had 20 years ago, but it really wasn't growing on me and I really did not like the red interior. So I was kind of keeping a secret. I had it up for sale and I knew what I was going to do. I knew I was going to sell it and I was going to get my hands on a GT because then I already had the body kit and all this good stuff on it. So for what I paid for this. I could not complain. You'd be shocked if I told you how much I paid for this car. Like I basically got it for free. So um, yeah, I just, I wanted the GT. I wanted the body lines of the GT and I'm excited to to build this one. I, I stopped myself on the red one, as you'll notice, like I didn't do very many videos on it. And there's a reason because like I said, I wasn't really attached to the car. I loved the exterior color. It was cool, but I really wanted to have the black interior and i didn't want to go gutting a car to throw a black interior because that gets really expensive or even the gray i I'm, I'm quite partial to the gray as well but um yeah i'm stoked on this one she looks fire sitting there too like check it out just she just looks good i think it's safe to call it there i've went through two gopro batteries in this short little video just because it's so cold i put my cameras outside to record and I come back and there's no footage. I thought I wasn't pushing record. It's just, it's too cold. It's sucking the batteries dry. Not to mention my batteries kind of suck. So I think it's, I think some new GoPro batteries are on order. So yeah, we're going to end this here. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Look forward to uh, sharing this new adventure with you guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.